In today's episode, I'm telling you what I believe is my biggest challenge I've ever had. This is how legends are made. So this is episode 164 of The Daily J. I hope you're doing amazing wherever you are. Today I wanted to share a challenge that I was presented with. Well, it wasn't so much a challenge that I was given, more that I've turned it into a challenge. A few months ago I was approached to talk at a school, which as you know I do kind of relatively often. Uh, this is often just maybe the um, assembly classes, so 15, 20 minutes or so, or maybe longer sessions which last for about an hour. But for this school they've asked to keep the talk to five minutes and that's my challenge. And it's a challenge because as you can imagine I need to deliver as much impact and as value and as benefits for the students as possible within five minutes and that is a bit of a tricky one because you you know like I, I have I have a number of options I could choose from a number of talks a number of things but which ones create the biggest impact. So I was struggling with what I could come up with. And I'm not sure I've got an exact answer, but I've got an answer that I wanted to share with you. And uh, maybe if you let me know in the comments what you think. And the answer I've come up with so far is this one. It's about my deathbed statement. I was thinking five minutes isn't a lot of time. What could I give these students in that time which would be the most value and most benefit? And I thought, well, if I only had five minutes to live, what would I give my kids? What would I say to them that I would think would give them the biggest long-term benefit, impact, or a point of view that I'd like them to adopt, a mindset I'd like them to adopt? And I went over my own mind, what would it be? And there are a number of things that I talk about, you know, gratitude, appreciation, patience, kind of falling in love with your failures, um, all of that. And I was thinking about which one, if I had to choose one within the space of five minutes to, to give them as a message, a final message that I'd like them to take forward for the rest of their lives, what would it be? And the one that came back to me was actually perspective. Um, having studied and worked with a number of different people, variety of successes in their lives, it just seems to come back down to perspective. So what I mean by that? Perspective in, in the sense that when we are confronted with a challenge or a problem, seeing as many different ways of understanding the situation as possible is critical to your happiness in a broad term. And I've spoken about this before, but this is kind of me rummaging out the idea for the five minute talk. It's that happiness is linked to having as many options as possible, then choosing one which is the most useful for you. When we can get our most stuck, our most upset, is when we're only seeing it through a blinkered point of view, when it's only seeing one option, we think that's the only one we choose from, and that really kind of like jammed us up and blocks us and puts us into a stuck state. The more we can practice, and it's a practice, it's an art, of finding multiple interpretations of a situation, the more chance we're gonna to get to happiness. And I wanna make sure I clear about this to the students, is that it's, it is a practice. It's, you know, it's the mental gym you're gonna to have to go through. It won't, it may, appear quite naturally for some people and that's fantastic but for many others to get into that stage or that mindset can take a bit of time and it takes practice so when they're confronted with a situation I want them to really come up with as many possible interpretations and the connecting thought to that if I have these this time to explain to me is that what we think about and how we see it informs our decisions our emotions respond to what we're kind of interpreting so if we have multiple interpretations we can have multiple responses and ways of interacting it. If we think there's only one way this is gonna go, then we're fixing our emotions, fixing the outcome and fixing how we're feeling and our decisions based on that. So there's one thing in this five minute window I get with these students is say perspective. Come up with as many varied ideas of how to interpret the situation as possible because that's going to be far more useful to get you to where you want to go in any walk of life. It's kind of, it's a universal type of statement. This will work in any kind of context. So that's my deathbed statement that I would give my kids if that situation happened to arise, but one that I felt I could at least manifest for myself, the, the scenario which would best serve the students I'll see at the beginning of March. Um, we'll see how it goes. I wonder if I'll add bits to that. I wonder if I'll make up five minutes, maybe it's only three minutes given that information. But I would love to hear your thoughts, love to hear your comments on that, what additional things you could add into it. Say it's a small window 
um, and I'll update you with what people are saying and some ideas from that. So with that quick blast of what's kind of in my mind and the challenge I'm kind of facing and still don't have a complete answer for, I really wish you a fantastic day wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next episode. This is how legends are made.